Hello everybody! Um, welcome to the next video and today it's um, a video about a copy against a copy of the original. So let's present the basis which will be uh, compared in a moment. The first one is um, Super nice old P base, yeah. So this one um, is passive, as you can see. So there is no battery in the back. Um, there is no real tone control, so not like um, at the original. It's like, yeah, it's a main co a tone control, and then we have here a volume. The pickup is passive. Um, the neck is uh, made out of maple, pretty straight, and set up the same way as the other copy is. Um, yeah, and the other copy is this one here. It's a sterling stingray. And um, this one is active uh, and obviously has a rosewood fingerboard. This is real rosewood. Um, yeah. Yeah, active electronics. If I didn't mention that, that yet. The bridge um, is much heavier and has more material. Uh, um, the pickup is passive, as in the other one, and the dimensions aren't the same. So this one here has the nut width of a jazz bass, and the other one has the nut width of a P bass. So it's a little bit wider. You can see it when it's side by side more or less yeah it's wider yeah this is wider this is narrower um and the neck here is slimmer and this is a little bit fatter uh, at the op so um might be a reason for another tone so let's find out at uh, the Amp is set flat by now, <laughs> and um, yeah, let's see what it sounds like first with the Stingray Sterling and then with the St uh, Stingray OP version. I use just my fingers, not the pick. <laughs> rich fat tone which I prefer and then the next one is the OLP and this one is a little bit lighter than the other one so there might be another wood uh, but I don't know What I found out yet is when it comes to the band mix, so because I play that with my band, that bass and the other bass, this one here um, has another tone in the mix as the other one. Yeah, due to the fact that it got uh, different materials 
Um, this one is a little bit brighter and uh, cuts a little bit better through the mix. And this one here gives a very nice warm base to the overall sound. So they do have their advantages on their own. Uh, this one and that one. So there is no winner and no loser. I think these are both winners. And um, besides uh, that this one um, is, or despite this one is um, passive, uh, the, the tone and the power of the tone is very close to this one here, which is active. Yeah. Um, the reason is that the pickup that I uh, put in, because this one was without any pickup, um, is quite hot and um, has a super powerful sound. Yeah. Um, yeah, and they both are licensed by Ernie Bowl, so um, close to the original. It's not the original, I know, yeah. Um, Stingray lovers will tell me now, and you can do this, um, this is not a stingray at all, it's just a look-alike base. So hey, yeah, this might be, um, but nonetheless, I'm happy with those two bases um, and I like the way how they play and that's it. And when I like the way how they play and I play this one quite a long time right now and this one as well, um, I know what I can do with them and I'm not willing to spend uh, 2000 euros for uh, an original Stingray which has four strings, machine heads, a body and a pickup and a bridge yeah, um, as this one has or that one yeah. So I can do um, everything I want on those two bases. They are totally different, but hey, that's the matter about uh, musical instruments. They do have to differ. <laughs> it would be so uh, boring if everything has the same tone or feel. Okay, so that was my comparison. Um, see you soon for the next video. Okay, it, it should have been... Um, a short one now it's a long one sorry <laughs> um yeah thanks for watching and see you for the next video i don't know what about exactly it could be modding or whatever um i will surprise myself as well so see you soon bye